<laughs> so, Lion Crew, I've just done a wee ride um, over finishing in Glenmore, and from there I've just pedalled past the lodge and up past Loch Morlick over to do the, the Largo descent. So I wanted to share this descent with you. It's the first time I'm doing it and it's quite a popular one here. I've heard it's meant to be a cracking one and one that as soon as you get down you want to go back up and do again. So that sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, we'll take you on a wee bit of the journey. Got Loch Morlick there. I've just headed up, as I said, from the lodge and we're heading up here. The scenery is beautiful. Always enjoy coming to Abbey Moor for the scenery. A lot of variety riding as well. Just realised I'm supposed to be looking out for a path on the left. <laughs> Hopefully I've not gone past it. Mm, I think we're here at the path. Looks defined enough. It's quite magical in here. So that's me just pedalling along the side of the lock basically then I'll start the wee climb wait why am I saying wee climb it's not going to be a wee climb start the climb up to Largrew so the best starting place for this is probably at the Rothy Marcus Lodge and you can just take the lodge road and then go up from there I'm doing it this way just because I was doing a bit of a ride before it over at Glenmore I've taken the Let's say scenic route <laughs> over the back of the, the loch. But yeah, starting just at the uh, the base of Loch Marlock is probably best. Most direct way up. So I'm just doing the lower part of the descent. From what I've read and what I've heard, the middle of the the middle of the full descent uh, isn't rideable. Um, and rather than carry the bike, uh, most people tend to do the lower part and then just do it again. Um, if they wish. So that's what my plan is. So I just started my ride over there in the forest on the left and then headed over through the forest over to Glenmore and then around here and we're heading up here. There's a cloud, a few clouds coming in. It's got a lot windier and I know there's rain forecast later, so I'm really hoping I can beat it. Just past the lodge and that's the single track starting, which is the final section to the start of the descent. Way. Oh crap. <laughs> Love a good hill. Not. Oh, the wind has gone crazy and I can already feel a few spits of rain. So I'm not holding out much hope for a dry descent, but me manage it. It's like a race against time. Which is probably most of the time in Scotland. Ah, almost there. It's been a wee bit more of a push, some of this. Not being able to pedal up some of the sort of bouldery climb sections. Oh. We're here. So this is the start of the descent that is on trail parks that everyone seems to do. So it's about 2.3 kilometers and just over 130 meters of descent. I'm just gonna get going before this cloud behind me sweeps in properly, because it's got crazy windy, as I said. Beautiful views up here though. Right, let's go. To get my bunny hop skills on big time. Woo, couple of line choices, a low and a high. Going for the high, so. Woo -hoo. Ta 
actually quite sheltered in the trees, which is good. It was super fun. Right, what's next? Ah. In traverse. Oh no, there's a climb. Right, here we go then. Lovely, lovely. Quite a drop on the left there, which I'm not going to look at. <laughs> Up here. really fun. There's just lots of sections on it. It's a wee bit undulating in places but that's pretty good because you've got good decent sections of descent then you've got some short uphills but they're pedalable. Really fun. section's a bit more mellow. I think the top has to be my favourite. List all the rocky, rocky sections, roots, these wee tiny roots all over the place. And that's us back onto the, the bar track. As you can see, having more Loch like where we've just come. That was a super descent. I really enjoyed that. So in the top, it's more technical, rocky sections, routes, and then a couple of wee climbs, but pretty short. And then it just gets faster, flowier. Just so much fun. I would definitely recommend this. It wasn't too long to get up as well in the grand scheme of things for that amount of descent and not far from, from Loch Morlick. Um, and the rest of the stuff in Aviemore. Great.